Thousands of homes are without power and air travel disrupted as the big freeze continues to bite in the United Kingdom. Passengers have been forced to spend the night on the floor at Heathrow Airport as flights are suspended. At least 20% have now been cancelled. Even though both runways are open, more than 100 flights have already been cancelled and the disruption will get worse before it gets better. With more snow forecast in the next 24 hours, Heathrow managers have agreed with airlines that at least 20% of Sunday flights will be cancelled because it will take longer for planes to depart and land safely. This was Terminal 5 in the early hours of this morning, with passengers stranded and trying to get some sleep wherever they could. It was particularly tough for those with young children. Sorry, I'm just tired. It's chaos, really, isn't it? I mean, they've got all these uh, roll-out beds and they give you blankets. But they won't turn the lights off. I can't sleep with the lights on. All our luggage is stuck on a plane. Yeah, they didn't give us their luggage back. Major disruption caused by minor snowfall must seem incomprehensible to passengers from countries more used to sub-zero weather. Well, I don't understand why the whole airport is closed because of this, yeah, this snow. It's... Uh, just a little bit. Colleagues of mine were booked on Gatwick flights and Gatwick operated without problems. And I don't think they, did a, they had more snow. There had only been a few inches of snow yesterday, but any delays to arrivals and departures has an escalating knock-on effect. Even though the airport spent £36 million on new equipment after the last big weather problems. But for those who aren't working or worrying about travel arrangements, a snowy weekend is positively good news. And more is forecast. The trouble is it will carry on snowing in some places into Monday, when it won't be so much fun. In Woods, Sky News.